uh, I get to introduce our next, uh, 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 and we're joined by two amazing borough presidents, one of whom, and I just want to say, Vanessa, what you are going through right now with the Bronx Fire, and the love, and the energy, and the compassion, and the presence, that spirit of presence that you are showing to those families in the most heart-rending grief is really, so please say thank you for, to, to Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson for what she's doing. The fact that even while she's with those families in the evacuation center, she made time to come down here uh, is really quite powerful. And she's going back there tonight. Uh, but in our protocols, uh, it's your home borough that speaks first. <laughs> and so even though we got a lot of love for Bronx Borough President uh, Vanessa Gibson, uh, our next speaker needs no introduction to all of you because I know he's shown up here time and time and time again. Uh, and he was actually here just two nights ago as well. And he's back again, Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been a really rough week for New York City. Here in East Harlem, in the Bronx, the, the loss is, is shattering. Our, our heart breaks for the loss of life in the Bronx, and we are so grateful for the leader of that borough who has risen to the moment, as Brad says. Thank you, thank you, Vanessa. Our heart breaks for a young woman in East Harlem who did everything that we asked of our young people. She went out and got a job to help support herself and her family. She agreed to work the night shift. No one wants to work the night shift. She agreed to work the night shift despite her fears because she needed a paycheck. She was doing what we asked of her young people. And it absolutely tears my heart out that that life, a 19 year old life has been taken from this earth a life full of promise and potential. This should never happen in our society. I have had a chance to spend time with the family. They are shattered as you would expect. They could not be here tonight because they are exhausted. They are exhausted by, by the morning. And I, I understand that, that the mother, Christy, is, is actually watching us. So I just want to very, very briefly address her she speaks Spanish. Um, Christy, sepa que, que yo, mi persona, me parte el corazón por lo que usted ha tenido que pasar. Aquí tiene una comunidad que está de luto por lo que usted y su familia han pasado. Pero sepa a la vez que aquí hay amor. Estamos orando por usted aquí a oración. Aquí tiene apoyo de toda su comunidad. Pase lo que pase. Tiene aquí su familia extendida. Sepa eso. Cuanto coge recuperar de esta tragedia, aquí tiene su familia extendida. We owe it to Crystal to find the person who committed this horrific act. We owe it to Crystal to stop this epidemic so that there are no more tragedies of 19 year olds who are lost. Last year in East Harlem, there were 62 shootings. 62 shootings in East Harlem alone. No society can accept that. We do not accept that. We owe it to Crystal to do better. We owe it to Crystal to invest in youth development programs. We owe it to Crystal to invest in job training, in after school. We owe it to Crystal to invest in strategies that work like crisis management like Save East Harlem, like Street Corner Resources, like leaders and organizations like Harlem Mother Save with the incredible Jackie Rowe Adams. We owe it to her to stop this madness. We owe it her justice. So join me in saying once again, justice for Crystal. Justice for Crystal. Justice for Crystal. Justice for Crystal. Thank you very much. And now it is my honor to call up my sister, an amazing leader for the Bronx and for the city. Please join me in welcoming Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson. Peace and blessings, family. We come together as people of faith, people of God, mourning the loss of this beloved sister, a child of God, 
Crystal Nieves. I thank all of you for being here, to all the clergy and faith leaders, to all of our anti-gun violence organizations, to so many of our advocates who have been on the front lines day in and day out, to all of my colleagues in government. I am grateful to join you, but I am sad to be here. My heart is truly broken. I can't believe that we continue to see the violence that we see in this city. There is some real evilness out here in our city. Oh, that's right. But let me tell you about the God I serve. Yes. Let me tell you about the God I serve. That is a God of comfort, a God of healing, a God of peace, a God of strength, a God of unity, a God of bringing people together. If God will bring you to the storm, he will see you through the storm. We have been through a storm. We are so tired of burying our children. We are so tired of mourning the loss of our future. Crystal was the future. She had potential and promise. She is exactly what we want in our young people. Doing the right thing. And yet, she still was a victim of gun violence. There is a problem in our society when people continue to use violence and weapons to deal with underlying issues that are so prevalent in our community. Violence is never the answer. And so we have to come together. We have to pray. Yes. But we know that faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. So as much as we pray, we need to be about our business. And we need to be out in our communities giving our people jobs and taking these guns out of these communities. Because this is unacceptable. On that Sunday morning when I woke up and I heard the news, my heart was broken because I have a 19-year-old in my family that also works as, at a fast food restaurant. And you think about your children. Am I the one that gets that phone call today? Am I the one that gets that phone call on tomorrow? And it's not acceptable and it's not normal. And then a few hours later, I'm in church listening to the word yeah. and then I get a call about the fire yeah. and I can't believe it I can't believe last night I was with the mother who lost her two year old child yeah. and she wasn't even a resident of the building the two year old was at the babysitter Father God have mercy on us Father God have mercy on your people we need God we need his love his healing and his strength and so I am here with all of you as your sister from the Bronx because all of you have been there for the Bronx. You have been there for my borough and I'm going to be here for you in LA. No bridge will divide our work. No street will divide our commitment and no block will block our blessing. So I say thank you. Thank you for what you are doing. Every clergy, every faith leader, no matter what title you have in front of your name, understand that God is using us. God is not finished with us yet. God is giving us purpose every day. And I want to remind you of that purpose. As heavy as our hearts are, as heavy as our shoulders are, we still have to keep on pressing on and keep pushing on because these young people need us. These young people need our work. And so I want to encourage you as your sister from the Bronx, I want to encourage you to not give up. Don't let the devil get the best of you. Trust in God. Stand on his word and know that there is nothing impossible for him. Even in the greatest time of struggle, people will step up. And sometimes we give up on God, but guess what? He never gives up on us. And so I want to thank all of my colleagues, my borough president, Mark Levine, and my congressman, Adriano Espaillat, and my controller, Brad Lander, and every one of you here. Thank you so much for having my back, and I will always make sure that I have your back. May God rest the soul of our sister Crystal. May her death not be in vain, but may it serve as a reminder of love.
because that's what she stood for. Right. We have to keep pressing on for Crystal because Crystal was the future and we have to make sure we take care of our future. I pray for her family and all of her friends and I know they're listening and we just say que Dios te bendiga. God bless you and thank you so much everyone. May we continue to do this work together with God on our side. Thank you.